just to show you guys check this out check this out went mulberry picking a couple of days ago had picked three different types of mulberries right Larry Park I used to love smoking cigars they were my favorite yeah yeah uh, crack got the balance investment with enjoyment 100% 100% went mul mulberry picking three days ago, two days ago these are one type of mulberries we picked they're really good they're they don't uh, stain as badly as the shot to the Persian mulberries right and it's been pretty dry so um, these aren't as juicy as uh, they can be but look at this thing <laughs> phenomenal right and we picked some Persian mulberries they're called shot to they're like they're like like this I should triple this like shot toots are huge they're like here maybe like like this like this like some of them were like this the shot toots we picked those ones are crazy fragile you pick them and they go Psh. if you if you're not gentle it just goes Psh all over you and you're like the color on my fingernail here it's like all over your hands it was on my shirt it was my, on my head and those ones the flavor is insane Cheryl just in time let's see the purple thing <laughs> I know <laughs> I've, been, I've been washing them <laughs> right I don't know if you can see it it was two days ago when we went picking these ones are awesome because they got this all of them have their little tails on them, right? So you don't have to have to get purpley when you eat them. <laughs> They're awesome. <laughs> and the way we picked these was um, for these ones and for these ones. Finish, dude. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Jelen, I'm a simple man. As Gicho is live, I click. Nice. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Indeed, indeed. And then there were these ones. These ones are really good too. They're phenomenal. They're super sweet. Insanely sweet. Right? But these ones are getting towards the end. So they're a little shriveled up, <laughs> like raisinish. Uh, so I'm eating sort of these with a spoon and when I'm, you know, I don't have to have think, clean fingers, I grab them like this, right? Very good, very good, very unique. Very delicious, all right? Mm-hmm, so good, so good. And then the Persian cherry mulberries, were those ones we ate at the at the garden that we were picking i had my ladder up and oh yeah by the way these two uh, uh mulberries i brought uh, this one is more like a shrub it's a smaller tree or a couple of trees so we put blankets down and i would grab a big like a stem or you know trunk of the tree and shit the shit out of it <laughs> and the mulberries all f fell down onto the sheets that we had laid out and then we pick you know pick up the mulberries that have landed on the sheets these ones didn't squish they don't get they don't do explosion so that's great for these ones we did the same but these these ones the tree is bigger so i put the ladder up beside the tree and i climbed up the ladder and then went on top of the tree and i got good footing be careful climbing trees of course right i got good footing and then we would i would and the it was big trees so the branches were really big and then we sort of line up the sh couple of sheets we had under the branch i was going to shake and i would just grab it and shaking tree branches is exhausting so i would grab it and i would just go whoosh, 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 as hard as i could for maybe a minute maybe two not even two minutes like after it i was like whoosh, that was tiring and the uh, ladies in the bottom of the tree would be picking up the I went with a couple of friends my partner and uh, my partner and a friend of hers and a friend of ours and they pick and and one time this one went with a friend of mine actually and they pick up the fruit 
The Persian mall bears, you just I just climbed up top of the ladder, go up there, it's very fragile. You can't shake the Persian mulberry tree because the branches are, are brittle, they'll break, right? And you don't really want to climb on top of the Persian mulberry tree because if you put weight on a branch which is which is really uh, not strong enough to hold you, it won't go it'll go like it'll crack, it'll break, it'll fall. Right, so it's very brittle. The Persian mulberry tree is very weird, right? So I just would go up there, had a bucket around my neck, like a, like a string, and holding a bucket, and I'd like try to pick, put them in the bucket, climb down, and me and the two ladies would be standing there, eat the mulberries, we get all red. I'm all red already, and then I climb back up again, get more. Did that. And that's my mulberry picking story from a couple of days ago phenomenal absolutely phenomenal so good so good so good so good lark bark is too bad i'm not your neighbor i would have been over there right now <laughs> nice <laughs> nice salud gang welcome to our live stream i had to tell you the mulberry picking story it was awesome like we went phenomenal and from what i understand uh mulberries diabetics can eat them too because it doesn't spike your insulin uh, i think it's the insulin I'm gonna light up the cigar and then we'll do our little intro um, for uh, before we cut it on sensor tube right phenomenal smoke and the cigar guy is uh, really nice he goes oh look at this it's got a little crack here I'm gonna give you 10% off the cigar I want you know you don't have to it's all good he goes no no I'm gonna give you 10% off so he gave me 10% off so it came out to like 30 bucks Right, Cheryl, I'm sure there was a ton of laughter involved in the way harvest should be. Indeed, it was medicinal. It was phenomenal. We were, we, we, we put one in our mouth. We'd be like, oh, this is fantastic. And then people would be walking by. What are you guys doing? Picking mulberries. We'd give them a little bit of mulberries. We had a, at one point with this one, actually with the other one too, with this one, we had three kids hanging around us that, from two different parents and the parents were standing just letting the kids do their thing and they came and stayed uh, hung hung around us under the tree and the mulberries were falling and then one of the kids was phenomenal he was in there all in <laughs> purple everywhere right the other two kids it was a brother and a sister they were just waiting there and you know i go up i go up you guys want mulberries they're like yeah and then I give the girl mulberry, right? She she eat it. I give, and the brother was sh smaller. <laughs> and I say, you want mulberries? You go, yeah. And he kept on picking up. Kids are hilarious, man. And his sister was eating them as I was giving it to her, right? She, I would let her pick. The other one, I was giving handfuls and all over his face, everywhere, right? <laughs> These two, brother and sister, I would hold it out, and the girl would pick a couple and eat it, and I would give it to the hold my hold out my hand to her brother younger brother and he would pick but he wasn't eating him i noticed this. he was holding him in his hand after a few times they were gonna go she had eaten all of them right he had two hands full of mulberries going like this it was hilarious it was funny he's a, he's a prepper he's a prepper he's he's not gonna eat it all right away he's gonna save it right uh, sister like an eat away the other one is chaos uh, it was funny it was fun it was a good time a good time you ever get a chance go fruit picking especially if there's kids around and stuff like this they'll give you uh, the joy of uh, uh, childhood if you if you're missing it uh, the beauty of childhood and innocence and joy of the simplest things in life right it's phenomenal it's phenomenal right the parents were laughing oh I forgot to cut it and the kid that was chaos that was just all over the place right his dad was uh, okay we need to go now and I said oh okay come on G give me your hand and I'll 
pour some mulberries in your hand and you can go and eat along the way and take some to your mom. And the kid goes, I got two hands. <laughs> the kid comes up and holds up his hands like this. You could see the pride in his dad, right? It's like, yeah, man, my kid's smart. He fucking right away. I got two hands, not one. Fill it up. <laughs> it's so funny. So funny. So funny. <laughs>